Dear friends, welcome back to my channel Alpha Physio Pelvic Care, all things pelvic health. If you don't know me, my name is Anastasia Barba. I'm a pelvic floor physiotherapist, practicing pelvic floor physiotherapist here in sunny and today very, very hot Cyprus and also online. Today's video is not going to be your usual video because as you might know, as you might notice, most of the people who follow me, who follow me online and who follow me on YouTube are females. So I talk a lot, a lot about women's health, women pelvic health, uh, pregnancy and so on. However, I do also work in men here in the clinic and also online. I'm pelvic floor physiotherapist and everybody has pelvic floor, any gender. So today I would like to show you a routine that is actually is tailored mainly for males. You might ask, what is the really difference between male and female routine? Well, there might be not, and it really depends what condition you are suffering and what we're looking at, but today's routine is specifically the maintenance or the well-being routine. Something that you can do daily to prevent any pelvic floor issues. So this routine is for you as a preventative measure. Before we start, make sure you like this video, make absolutely sure to share it with your partner if you're a female or with your partner, with your friend, if you're a guy and if you're a guy, make sure you also try these exercises. First of all, a few words about why I have chosen the exercise I have chosen. The routine consists of four movements. In my practice, quite often I see that men have tight pelvic floor, but also non-optimally functioning pelvic floor. And tight does not equal strong, does not equal well functioning. It can create a lot of problems. So male in generally have uh, tighter pelvic floors. This is general rule of thumb. And of course, individual cases may vary. So in this workout, I combined pelvic floor exercises that actually will contract your muscles and work your pelvic floor muscles and pelvic floor relaxation and stretches to release that tension. The tension can be there for various reasons. Men generally have more stress statistically in their life. They usually clench their bottom cheeks more, again, statistically. They might go to the gym, weight heavy lift, so there is a lot of tension when they do lifting and they might have a lot of sitting jobs. So the pelvic floor stays in the same position. It is not stretched, it is not stimulated enough and it can become tight. So therefore we will have that combo. Before, as you have noticed, I'm holding here a foam roller. So this is one piece of equipment that I advise to buy you. Yes, there are things you can do without foam roller, but this is relatively small investment and they're widely available. And this is just great. Not only you can use it for pelvic floor, if you are a guy, you can use for many, many other things. And I do have many videos with foam roller. So if you get one, you will definitely make good use of it. And now let's begin. Exercise number one, the bridge, the classic bridge. And here, because I will describe male anatomy, I will use mainly reference point as anus and sometimes uh, testicles, but mainly it's anus. So first of all, we take nice deep breath into the sides as we lay down, relax with our knees bent. As you start to breathe out, your first focus goes around anus and you try to gently draw it in and contract. It doesn't have to be super strong, super hard contraction. Think about feeling that lift. Think about pulling the anus in and feeling that movement. And the more you do it, the more also you will feel it and the sensation will go up into your stomach. So the stomach, deep core muscles would switch on as well. We take a breath in, breathe out, we contract, we draw anus in and slowly start to lift our pelvis up keeping that contraction to the max. Now here, I must add that you will also start to feel your legs, your glutes, it is normal. This is why we start in the beginning, the contraction around pelvic floor and the reference point anus. And then we go, breathe in and slowly come down. Here, the important bit is to release it and let it go. Feel it relax. So you contract it, 
and you open up and let it go. Let's do the whole movement again. Breathe in, into your sides, breathe out, contract, draw in. Keep your jaw relaxed, keep your shoulders relaxed. Breathe in, let it go. Relax your legs, relax your glutes. If you are generally a tense person, take your time for relaxation and take the time to feel the contrast between contraction and relaxation. One more, breathe in, breathe out, squeezing, lifting the anus, breathe in, relax, letting it go. When I mean letting go, I don't mean bearing down or pushing it like you would do when you go to the toilet. No, you just feel relaxing dropping it gently without excessive strain down just one more breathe in breathe out and breathe in relax i will not do the whole set for the purpose of the video you can do about 20 repetitions a day focusing on contraction and relaxation and that difference between contraction and relaxation as well as combining it with breathing. Let's move on and now we are going on the four point kneeling. Hands and knees here. Again I'm taking nice deep breath into the back and my sides. Breathing out my first focus goes around my pelvic floor so drawing my anus in and lifting my knees just a few centimeters off the floor. Now, as you do the strong contraction, you will also feel your tummy kicking in. It's normal, expect it, that's fine. Breathing in, breathe out. Breathe in, and breathe out. In. In this exercise, I must add, if you don't feel that much of a contraction, it's normal. As soon as you do feel the difference between the movement in and out around the anus opening, hence your pelvic floor, it's fine. You will not feel that strong, deep contraction as you would in laying down because of the position and because of the natural stretch that happens here in pelvic floor around this position. So one more, breathe in. Breathe out, engage. Breathe in. Relax. You do repeat this exercise about 15, 20 times. If you need to take a break, relax your wrist a little bit, you can do so. You can break it in a two sets, 10 and 10 during the day. That's absolutely fine. Now the time has come for our row. The row we will use to relax and add a bit of elasticity and mobility to our pelvic floor, as well as get the blood flowing. We always need a good blood supply and circulation around our pelvis. First, we lay down onto your side and place your leg on the roll. You can support your head and here you're going to roll in and you try to get the roll as much as possible under your adductors, so inner thigh muscles, in and out. You might feel it being quite sore, but these muscles directly attaches to your pubic bone, so are in exact proximity to your pelvic floor. In my experience, 99.9% .9 of men who come to me with pelvic floor issues will have overly tight adductors. Breathing in, and breathing out. Here I could give you a number about of 10 or 8 rolls, but you can stay there as soon as, as soon as you feel that you need to. It helps you, it feels relaxing, you can do it also for longer. And of course, do not forget to repeat on the other side. We have now arrived to our last stretch, last exercise. Now we are sitting on our roll, and here I will be sitting between my tailbone and my sitting bones. And the same anatomy exactly applies to males. Sitting bones and the tailbone. So I'm having my roll there, I'm leaning back and I'm rolling all the way up 
and down. Whilst doing this, it's of paramount importance to focus on your breath and relaxation around the area of your testicles, around the area of penis, around the area of anus. Everything is getting released and relaxed there while you're taking nice deep breath into the sides of your ribs. Again, I'm not going to give you exact number. Generally, I would say for about 10, eight times, but if it feels good, if it helps you, you can do it for a little bit longer. And as a bonus, you can add a bit of a hip mobility. Again, in most of the cases with the men, I do find that the hip mobility is a little bit less and it's not because they have a very different anatomy or something. They just don't tend to move as much and as in various ways as female um, moves because of you know daily tasks and routines that are required or not required for them. So as you sit here, Keep your left leg nice and straight and let your right leg drop in and you can roll forwards and up. Breathe out and in and out and in. And again, make sure you do approximately the same amount of time on each leg. You can do it eight to ten times. And we are done in here. Needless to say that this routine is also suitable for females and actually you can make it together with your partner. Uh, my aim here was to collect the very essential, the very quite easy to follow exercises that you can do in about 10, very max 15 minutes a day and get on with your day without thinking to you need to add anything more or do it, remember anything fancy and so on. I hope you guys already like this video and I hope you're already following my channel. Let me know in the comments if you try these stretches. Let me know if you try them if you're a female. Let me know if you try them if you're a guy. If there's anything you would like to know more, to do specific exercises for any specific conditions or requests and we'll see you back very very soon. Bye bye!